Me say one bag of gold medal pan me you know. Red stripe alone champion boy go Pan a poor dem a sing he and ten to Red stripe Watcha 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 Man shall I make forward with the upcoming match on Monday night against Arnett Garden. Are there any tactical changes we should expect with the team from Monday night? Not necessarily. Um, approach the game just as in the, the, the last one. Just have to be tactical so be prepared to play. It's a semi-final encounter so we expect Arnett Garden to come out and firing so we just have to be disciplined from the get go um, in terms of our structure we just have to be more clinical and decisive and be focused throughout the entire game um, can you elaborate somewhat on the injury that uh, Cardell Bembo picked up last night um, to be honest I'm not in the position to to state the, um, the injury in terms of um, we have to make it, make um, send it to the doctor and the physio to make an assessment then we could go forward from that. But who will he be available for the match on Monday night? Well again as I said before um, I'm, I'm not in that position to state if he will be ready for Monday night so we just have to wait on the doctor's assessment. Um, Sean, last night we saw some defensive frailties uh, with, with, between the game and Harborview. What, what will be done as that person at the back who leads the team from the back? What will be done to ensure that uh, the team does not uh, um, leave any gaps open for Arnett Garden with their speed up front? Well, I think with greater focus and concentration, and I think we should get the job done on, on, on Monday night. I'm not so much worried about their speed and I mean speed and against speed and I mean they can clash at times but as I said with greater focus and concentration we should be fine. Um, would you be going in this game with intention to say look we want to win this first game on our home home, home soil? Well um, I mean this is a semi-final you know what I mean the guys are all beat and ready you know what I mean and each game want us play fans and the players and the coaching staff, management staff, we're always looking for that double, you know what I mean? So we're going in this game without um, having any thoughts of trying the game and losing the game, you know what I mean? Most of the winning mentality going away forward. Um, both teams have not had an advantage during the regular season over each other. Uh, what would be the difference uh, with this match? As I said before, you know what I mean? With better concentration and, and greater focus. I think we, we come on more details. Um, how, how, how do you in, intend to nullify, this is to the coach, nullify the, 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 the three pound from attack, attack that Arnett has up front? Um, our team at this position of the season, our defense is um, doing fairly well. We just have to be more focused and do not give up a goal. Um, it's a semi-final we're playing at home, we have to make the home advantage count to our advantage going into this game. Is there any, anything different we can look forward to from the team come Monday night than what we have seen so far through the season? Um, well, the team has been growing from strength to strength, so the guys are upbeat and confident and pumping, but we don't want to get carried away, so we just have to be humble and focus and go there and just enjoy our game and play under less pressure in terms of two seasons ago the team was facing relegation now we are facing a chance to get a title so we just have to take the moment um, is there anything we can anybody new that we should expect come monday night um not necessarily um, I mean, the guys have been working hard, so we have a good group of guys. The team is well structured, we have depth. So, anyone who have been called upon is just to go there and do their best. Um, Sean, um, in the first part of the season, the team was basically rock bottom, right? 
Would you say that the, the team has overachieved uh, based on where it is right now? Well, you know, I mean, this, this, this season is one that um, you can give yourself a pat on the back for it. But as I mean, we, are, we as the players, um, you know, we're unit and group, and I mean, we're not setting it for this. I mean, two seasons ago, what was was facing relegation. Now this season, we have, this season we have a, a chance to face for the title. You know what I mean? So we're not settling on our thoughts and say that yeah, we're all by achievement and I'm relaxing. I mean, we're hungry for more and we're doing the necessary work to get that job done. What is it you would like to achieve personally? Well, for me, you know what I mean. I just I got my, my first national cap in um, January. So for me personally, my um, Individual achievement will be to maintain that spot in the national team, so therefore I'm doing the necessary work. And where do you see yourself going from here? Repeat. Where do you see yourself going from here? Well, playing in this league, I mean, I can't be lost in uh, yeah, I'm in the national team when I'm playing in Jamaica for what I was saying, I mean, but uh, definitely to get a professional contract outside, and I mean, that, that's, that's where my mindset is. All right, come Monday night, what do you have to say to your fans? We're going to do this work here. Say anything else you want to say to them? Just gonna do this work. Um, coach, anything you have to say to the fans? Well, um, just come out, enjoy a great game of football, and there's a history. Red stripe. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Man, shall I make a forward boy? Red stripe Premier League champion boy score. Every goal when I run from boy. Red stripe Premier League champion boy. The Red Stripe Premier League for champions only. Why?